In fact, growing up, I was never the biggest or strongest in my neighborhood, nor my family. This small fact of life has always been the fuel to the fire. Born prematurely and in a small town community of Louisiana, I come from humble beginnings. My grandpa was a trucker and my grandma was a housemaid who took me under their wing to give me a shot at life. A shot that my parents were not able to give me at the time. Going through grade school, I understood this and I always worked hard to find my path in life and make the grades I need to succeed. Around sixth grade, I knew that basketball was my calling and it was something I wanted to excel at, but with no parents to teach me, my skills were trash at best. Players like Kobe, Damon Stoudemire, Mike Bibby, those are the guys I grew up watching day after day as I toiled to make my high school team in 11th grade. But eventually I quit after my self-confidence took a hit. Basketball was over for me after high school and I started working at the local Dollar General to make ends meet. During this time period, the love of actually playing basketball was replaced by capitalism and shooting my shot until I became the manager at my store. The money wasn't the best, but I still had the mindset of everyday grinding. But when a coworker who was younger than me took the manager role over, I felt disrespected and I quit on the spot. During the same year in Louisiana, many floods and hurricanes occurred, which prompted a friend of mine to ask if I wanted to move to Boston and see a different part of life. And you know me, a country boy. I was like, nah. But I started to take this leap of faith and see what life was about. Moving to Boston was like getting new batteries put into my life that bestowed me with energy, life, and passion. So much so that after playing pickup basketball with a few friends, I found a community college and I joined that team. And not only did I join that team, I became a starter on that team. And I walked my way into being a legit college basketball player with coaches asking me when I play at the next level. You know me, asking me, well, do I have a career? And now, as I come to look at my journey, I am now a player here at Worcester State University. Yes, COVID has caused some pauses in my career, but it's been a long journey. And my motto is, you never know which way the ball will bounce for you in life.